Hello, dear friends, dear friends, Earthlings and others. I'm just thinking, the tree doesn't look as bad as I thought it did. It's just all kind of gnarled and wonky, which was my intent from the start. Still want more uh, greenery around the ends of the, the big fork branches. So, we are now within the, um, the Victorian house which I'll probably stop calling Victorian at some point, because it's really not very Victorian. Um, I filled in the frame, uh, more or less with the shape we're going for, and I've started putting in walls. Uh, you may have noticed last video I had this thing here. Um, this is a, uh, like a color palette. I tried a few different things. I actually cut the video, because I spent half an hour looking at different colors and different combinations. So we're going for spruce wood and logs, green, brown, and yellow wool. Um, and then after I started building, I decided I needed a lighter color as well, so we're using smooth sandstone. The uh, cobblestone you see is part of the uh, original uh, drafting material. Um, it will be replaced almost entirely by spruce wood. I may make some other changes. Using oak wood for floors, for the most part. I actually miscalculated. I was intending to have four high rooms, but because I uh, did... Uh, I jumped four per, per level, I wound up with three high rooms. It's a bit more cramped looking than I expected. Um, I think it's too late to do much about that. Uh, you may note I have not put any windows in. That is standard for me. Um, unless I'm really at a loss at you know for materials, I will build the walls solidly and then add the windows later. Because uh, it helps me find the shape of the building. Ah, oh, it's going to be quite nice. Alright, so if you can't see, the first floor has this wing that I've added, um, which I think I had just barely outlined at the end of the last video. The second floor is rectangular, but it leaves this part open to a porch. Uh, and the top of the wing, I believe I'm going to put a greenhouse into. The tower's there. Uh, it is probably going to get one more floor than is shown. The third floor uh, looks like it's more or less a straight rectangle at the moment. Let me see. And then the fourth floor is split by the, the, the split roof. Uh, this place should be lit up enough that nothing will spawn here, but things can shoot me from the trees. Um, as I mentioned before, the dirt... Stop. The dirt stairs are just... Uh, ways to get around. They're not actually necessarily when, where, and how I plan to put stairs in. So this is then the third floor, right? I had sort of not made up my mind whether the third floor was going to uh, go out over the this broad porchway. I think not. It winds up with each floor being successively smaller. And then uh, this floor, the fourth, uh, which will have a peaked roof. And then this floor will be sort of a half floor because the roof will be over it. Uh, but... I think that's a lot of wasted space if I do that. Of course, I'll be even open like that. So I may just do an eave and have this in an open glassed-in room. It also remains to be seen how I deal with the tower. Now, when I was a kid, one of the bazillion houses I lived in had a tower. And the tower itself didn't have, like, its own stairway or anything. It was just sort of attached to the house, and uh, that corner of the house had a tower room. 
uh, on each floor. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. Uh, it's a little weird. I don't know, I think once I have the walls put together, it will seem to make more sense, at least from the inside. Uh, and from the outside, well, we shall see. So there are a couple different ways to put together a house at this stage. You can um, fill in the walls, as I've done. And then from the outside, put in windows where there should be windows, and balconies where there should be balconies. Or you can fill in the rooms inside and uh, put your, your windows and balconies in ways that make sense uh, for, the, for that. I am split on how I want to do that. I did, however, take a journey to the nether. I've got some nether brick, and I think the, uh, the main peaked roof I want to do in uh, nether brick. Uh, nether brick stairs, um, and I think I'll want nether brick slabs because it's going to be. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Did I? I should probably start bringing my stuff in. Ding, ding. So yeah, the, um, the coloration of the walls may be a bit strange, and I, I suppose I could change the yellow out for sandstone. It would be less, uh, I don't know, garish. And while Victorians are 